Hey, welcome to Geekamag and today we are going to talk about the stop code DPC watchdog violation blue screen of death error. Just like most blue screen of death issues, the DPC violation error forces the user to restart their system and potentially lose their unsaved files or documents. But what causes the DPC violation error? So it's generally caused due to a variety of factors. You can get the error due to hardware incompatibilities where the system is unable to identify or run devices like SSDs, USB devices or other external components. Missing or outdated drivers may also cause the hardware to face compatibility issues. If you have corrupted or missing system files, then they can cause this error as well. Softwares conflicting with each other for system resources can also lead to this dreadful error. Fortunately, there are some troubleshooting steps that you can follow to get rid of the stop code DPC watchdog violation error in Windows 11, 10 and earlier versions. First of all, unplug all external devices. Incompatible external devices like printers, scanners, USB drives and more can cause the system to crash with this error. You can potentially fix the problem by disconnecting all these devices and then trying to run the system. If everything works fine, reconnect those devices one by one after regular intervals of time. If connecting a specific device leads to the blue screen of death, then you've successfully identified the faulty hardware. Let's say it's the mouse for you. You can fix the problematic device by updating its drivers, formatting it or plugging it into a different port. You can also check out our detailed guide for updating hardware drivers on any Windows PC for more information. For the next steps, let's run an SFC or DISM scan. SFC, also known as System File Checker and DISM are tools built into Windows that can scan protected files and replace the corrupted ones. Here's how to run an SFC scan. Go to search and type command prompt. Right click on the top result and run as administrator. In the command prompt window, type this command SFC space slash scan now. Now this will check your system for any kinds of issues. Once it's done, if you get the message, Windows Resource Protection did not find any integrity violation, then you're good, your system files are healthy. However, if you get the message, Windows Resource Protection found corrupt files but was unable to fix some of them, then that means there is something wrong with your system. However, a DISM scan can also help you repair Windows. For that, all you have to do is go to search, type command prompt, right click on the top result and run as administrator. In the command prompt window, type the command DISM online cleanup image check health. You can also copy and paste these commands from our article that is linked in the description. Okay, once you've written this command, hit enter to start it. This does a basic scan of the system. After the scan, type DISM online cleanup image scan health. Press enter and this will perform a more comprehensive scan of the system for corruption. Now this could take some time. After the scan, if there's nothing found, then you're good to go. However, if there is a corruption, then you can fix it by typing DISM online cleanup image restore health. This command repairs the corrupted files using Windows Update. Do note that the process can take a lot of time. But before we get further, we are trying to hit 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. Please consider subscribing to the channel so we can continue making such content. Outdated or corrupt NVIDIA drivers can also lead to the DPC watchdog violation error. This may occur on some systems using GeForce GTX 600, 700, 16 and RTX 20 series GPUs or a particular GPU from NVIDIA. If you've recently installed the latest version of your graphics drivers, then there is a chance that they have introduced the stop code error. In this situation, it's important to check the NVIDIA forum or similar reports about this issue. You can also run a check disk scan. The Windows check disk tool scans and examines the Windows disk space and its usage to identify and repair various errors. Click on the search icon and type command prompt. Right click on the top result and run it as administrator. In the command prompt window, you need to type this command and hit enter. When asked for confirmation, press Y and then hit enter. 
this will ask you to restart your system. During the restart process, the check test scan will do everything that it needs to identify and repair the problem. If these haven't helped you yet, you can also try to replace or update the SETA AHCI driver. For that, right click on the Windows Start icon and in the pop-up menu, click on Device Manager. Now under the IDE, ATA, ATA PI controllers, click right on Standard SETA AHCI controller. Select Properties and then go to the Driver tab. Now click on Driver Details. Now look for the driver file and if it ends with store AHCI.SYS, then everything is completely fine and you can move on with the other troubleshooting steps. However, if the driver files end with a IA store A dot SYS, then it needs to be replaced. Click OK to close the driver details window and then go to the driver tab again. Press update driver and then click on browse my computer for drivers. Select the let me pick from a list of available drivers option at the bottom of the window. Now make sure that you select the standard SETA AHCI controller and click the next button. After that, you'll be prompted to restart your system to apply the changes. You can also try updating your Windows 11 or 10 PC to the latest version. The supported versions of Windows consistently receive updates that bring various improvements and bug fixes. Updating to the latest version can resolve certain issues with hardware incompatibilities, outdated or corrupt drivers, and software conflicts. There is also a possibility that your PC's SSD is causing the TPC watchdog violation blue screen of death error. In such cases, it's important to find the model name or number of your SSD and search for its drivers on the manufacturer's website. You can also use a third-party software that helps you update drivers for your PC components. If things haven't worked so far, you can try reverting to an earlier restore point. Windows offers the ability to create a system restore point if things go wrong. If you've already created one, let's revert to it. For that, right-click on the Windows Start button and select the Run option. Type RST RUI command in the Run search box and press OK. This will open the System Restore utility. Click on Choose a different restore point and click Enter. Now choose the desired restore point. Select next and finish to roll back to a previous restore point. Sadly, if things aren't working so far, we recommend resetting your Windows 10 or 11 system. But don't worry, there is a way to reset your PC without losing your personal files. For that, go to System Settings, Recovery, then click on Reset this PC, when the dialog box shows up, click on Keep My Files to preserve all your personal files and data. If you do not want them, then you can click on the Remove Everything option, but we recommend the upper one. Now click on Local Reinstall and hit Next. And depending on your system, you might have to click Next a few more times. And once you're done with it, click on Reset to actually reset the PC. Now this could take a lot of time, like 20 to 30 minutes. So if you're unable to boot or log into Windows, after encountering the DPC violation error, then the best option for you is to boot into safe mode, shut down your system and press the power button. When the PC starts booting up, hold the power button for 5 to 10 seconds until the boot is stopped and the PC shuts down again. Now repeat these steps 2-3 to three times and on the third attempt, you should likely enter the Windows recovery environment. Go to troubleshoot and then advanced options. Now click on Startup Options and press the Restart button. Once the system restarts, click F5 to boot into Safe Mode with Networking. After this, you should enter Windows in Safe Mode. Here, you can try to identify and repair the problematic components. We hope that these steps were helpful in fixing the issue. If they did, then please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more of our content. Thank you for watching.